Yo followers, what's up? Trickax Show and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we will learn which are the best laptops in 2021 for graphics editing that you guys can buy. So we will start from the cheapest to the high end. So let's get started. So guys, we have three categories of laptops. Uh, the cheap laptops, which are under $700 and do uh, graphics editing fine. Uh, without uh, slowing down significantly and just run smoothly uh, and then we have the middle class which do the work just fine and great without slowing down anything uh, these are under one thousand dollar but still above uh, above seven hundred dollars and then we have the high end laptops which are under one thousand five hundred dollar but above one thousand dollars these do the work great uh, these these offer more uh, space uh, than uh, the middle and middle class and cheap class and these are the best laptops you can buy even more high-end laptops uh, but uh, these laptops are just fine and great in graphics editing which I'm going to share with you guys. So uh, the first laptop, the cheapest uh, first laptop is the HP Laptop 15-DW3031NX. So it has an operating system of free DOS, uh, but you can change it to Windows 10 only, not to Windows 7 or Windows 8. It is only supportive of Windows it has it has an 11th gen intel core i5 processor the processor is intel core i5-1135 g7 it has a 2.4 gigahertz uh, but it could uh, but it could go up to 4.2 gigahertz with intel turbo boost technology it uh, with 8 mb l3 catch it has four cores it has an Intel integrated SOC chip. Uh, it has an 8 GB of DDR4, uh, 2.6 uh, uh, 2, uh, 2,666 megahertz RAM. Uh, the transfer is uh, the transfer rate is up to 2,666 MT per second. Uh, it has a hard drive of 256 uh, GB PCL. NVMe M.2 SSD. So it has 256 GB of SSD. It doesn't have an optical uh, drive included. The graphics are integrated. Uh, the graphics is Intel Iris Xe graphic. It is a 2021 graphics. It has uh, one super speed USB type C port uh, with 5 GB per second signaling rate with two super speed usb type a 5g signaling rate with one hdmi 1.4 b one rj-45 and one ac smart pen uh, and one headphone slash microphone combo it has an expandable slot for one multi-format sd media card reader so you can put your mobile sd card on your laptop to read it it has a webcam of hp true vision 720p hd camera with integrated dual array digital microphones it has two uh, it has dual speakers with uh, full size jet pack keyboard with numeric keys it has a touchpad with multi gesture support it, are, it has a precision touchpad support with wire uh, with uh, real text rt8221 ce m82802 wi-fi and bluetooth 4.2 for a stable connection it is not the highest bluetooth but it does the work fine it has an integrated 10 upon 10 100 and 1000 gb lane 
It has a 45 watt smart AC power adapter, a battery of three cell 41 uh, WH Leon with diamond. Uh, with, it has a color of jet black. It is a really good laptop as it has 8 GB of RAM with a 2.4 gigahertz with 2.4 gigahertz, which is really good with an 11 gen Intel Core i5. It has 250 GB of RAM SSD space. It is just fine if you want to store your graphics work. Uh, with a new middle range graphics, uh, Intel Iris XE graphics with uh, really good ports uh, and a really good webcam. It has a 45 watt smart EC adapter also, and it is only $600 if you buy it from the link down below on Amazon. It is a really good laptop. So guys, next on our list is the Asus Vivo Book 15 Thin and Light Laptop. It is a 15.6 full HD display with the uh, with a 88% ratio uh, screen to body ratio, it has a 10th gen Core i5 1035G1 CPU, uh, which can go up to a, uh, which can go up to 3.6 gigahertz. It has 8 GB of DDR4 RAM and 5. 112 GB of M.2 SSD. It has an aerodynamic backlit keyboard with a fingerprint sensor exclusive aerogolyph designed for an improved typing position comprehensive connection include a usb 3.2 type c usb 3.2 type a and and usb 2.0 and hdmi Gigabit Wi Fi 5802.11 AC USB transfer speed may vary. It has Windows 10 Home. It is a gray color laptop uh, with a screen resolution of 1920 by 180. Pixels screen resolution. It uh, the processor brand is Intel. It has four uh, processors. Uh, ma its maximum memory support means uh, the maximum RAM you can put in. Additional RAM you can put it in is a uh, twelve GB, uh, while uh, the maximum clock speed is three point six gigahertz memory clock speed. Um, it has Intel UHD graphic, not the best, but last year's best of Intel mid-range laptop. Um, it doesn't have optical drive. It has two USB 2.0 ports and, uh, and, um, and uh, one HDMI port. Yeah. It has a 37 watt per hour battery contained in equipment. And so this is a good laptop. I wouldn't consider it the best. Uh, uh, it is a good design uh, for typing experience. Uh, has a good design and good body ratio. It also have a fingerprint scanner. Uh, while uh, still it has a price of 682 or $83, this $682. So I do not consider this the best you can get for the price, uh, but it is a really good laptop with good uh, graph, not really bad graphics and with a fingerprint scanner and good uh, 512 GB of SSD. It is uh, not uh, very, it is not very heavy. It's really light with a mechanism, new mechanism. So when you open the screen, it lifts up the keyboard. So it's a really good laptop. So you could consider buying, but in my 
personal preference it is not the best so guys next on our list is the lenovo idea pad 5 it is a 14 in inch fhd display laptop with a core i5 1135g7 chip a uh, 8 gb ram a 256 ssd with inter inter xe graphics the color is platinum gray um, it has uh, the uh, it has windows 10 built into it and uh, the processor speed could go up to 4.2 gigahertz it has four processor the resolution is 1920 by 180 so it's a really good laptop uh, um, uh, this laptop has uh, it also have a 720 p uh, hd camera with arrays mic it is a similar laptop to the previous uh, hp laptop 15 uh, but uh, uh, with a little more price uh, it is only uh, 600 uh, 658 uh, while uh, the hp laptop 15 was sick only 600 dollars uh, for the extra price you, you get a wireless mouse a lenovo wireless mouse uh, a lenovo pad which on which you can keep your laptop you get a wired headphone with mic and a mobile stand so these are the special gift you and a mobile bag uh, and a bag for your laptop so these are the gifts you will receive for paying some 58 dollars extra price so it is a good laptop uh, for that price only you have to pay 58 dollars more to get a lot of things but if you don't want to spend more you can get a similar laptop with same specs uh, for only six hundred dollars if you want some extra stuff you go for this laptop or just buy the hp laptop 15 which you can buy for a more cheap so guys uh, the next laptop and the last laptop for the cheap category is the acer aspire 5 notebook 10 gen intel core i5 g1 processor so it is uh, so it is a good it is a laptop it is a 10 gen laptop as you can see uh, it has uh, it has 8 gb of ddr4 ram with 512 gb of ssd uh, with intel uhd graphics and it is a 14 inch fhd display it has windows 10 home and with the latest Wi-Fi 6. Uh, it has up to 3.6 gigahertz speed. The resolution is 1920 by 1080. This is a normal resolution. There's four processor counts. So, and it uh, it is and it has 512 GB of SSD, as you can see, it is a silver color. And uh, it is a, a not, it is a great design. It doesn't have numeric keypad, uh, but still it is a good design, but it does, but it does cost uh, more than a normal price. As it is 690 is 696 dollars around 700 dollars so it is not the latest but it does offer our 512 gb of ssd storage with 3.6 gigahertz which is great for photo and video editing so it is uh, portable uh, with a powerful battery which can last you uh, uh, yeah, if you use for a normal day a great amount of time uh, about 11 hours but if you want to do graphics editing and video and photo editing all day around it it will uh, it will run for uh, five to six or four uh, three to four hours 
it is good uh, for laptops on video editing as video editing takes a lot of power and more resources for uh, the laptop uh, so it is a good laptop considering uh, storage but uh, at the end of the cheap i recommend the hp laptop 15 as it is the best laptop as it is the cheapest and the best laptop from all the laptop uh, but it, it it has less storage uh, that you can only store your video editing work or uh, photo editing work but not extra work uh, but it uh, it delivers uh, the work for its price that is that it is only six hundred dollars so i do recommend that laptop from all, all these laptops as it has the newest 11th gen uh, 11 gen processor uh, with the newest uh, uh, middle range laptop graphics the intel iris xe graphics it doesn't have the best wi-fi or the best bluetooth but you can do uh, great from it or you can buy some other laptops from uh, in here all the link of the all, all the laptops link will be in the description so that you guys can buy those are affiliate links so if you buy from there it would really help me okay guys now we have entered the mid class of laptops so these laptops will be under one thousand dollars but above seven hundred dollars so the first laptop we have is the lenovo idea pad 5 14 inch fhd display with uh, ips 300 nits uh, it has uh, it has an amd resin 54600u processor uh its processor can reach up to 4.4 4 gigahertz uh 3m megabytes l2 catch and 8 megabytes l3 catch it has a integrated amd reground graphics uh it also has built-in windows 10 home it has 16 gb of solidated ddr4 uh, uh, 3200 RAM with 512 GB of NVMe SSD. It, ha it has it has uh, the resolution is uh, 192 uh, 1920 by 1080. It is an anti glare. Uh, it is it is it has 45% NTSC display. 56.5 watts battery max to 14 hours uh, but if you are doing graphic work it would be reduced only 0 0.67 in uh, thin and 3.0 ibs weight uh, with 720p camera a very good camera for if you want to be in meetings if you want to use the laptop for other things uh, it has a backlit keyboard set glows uh, it has a fingerprint scanner, fingerprint reader. It has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 just below the latest Bluetooth 5.3. Uh, uh, 5.2, is just Bluetooth 5.1. Two USB 3.2 Gen 1. Uh, two USB uh, 3.2 uh, Gen 1, 1 HDMI. 1.4b 1 usb type c 3.2 gen 1 4 in 1 card reader bundled with uh, 332 gb micro sd card so it would be a reader uh, so it has 512 gb of ssd so you can see here so it is a really good laptop uh, you it has uh, uh, two watts, two dual uh, audio uh, with uh, um, with a backlit keyboard, as you can see. There's fingerprint here and there's security 
privacy shutter uh, it, it is 64 bit english so it is really good you can consider buying this and it is really good uh, 16 gb of ram makes it really helpful while the amd resin 546 oh you uh, beats the core i7 1065g7 so it's a really good processor it also have bundled with 32 gb of micro sd card that you can put in um uh, so just you can get so it is a really good laptop which also have a backlit keyboard so you could consider buying this you could consider buying this okay guys next on our list is, uh, and the last of uh, the middle class it is just been this is the second laptop uh, but it is the end of the second class of the mid class uh, so it is the lenovo idea pad 3 15 a point it has a 15.6 inch fhd display it has amd resin 5350 ou a cotton core with 20 gb of ddr4 ram so it has 20 gb of ddr4 ram as you can see uh, and before this one, uh, you can see it is the Lenovo Idea Pad 3. Before this, we had it the Lenovo Idea Pad 5. So that price was only that price, uh, the, that uh, was a little cheaper because uh, this one has more RAM. So uh, the uh, that uh, that laptop's uh, price was only 976 dollars uh, uh, but this laptop's price is around uh, 950, 900, uh, 994 so this is a really good laptop as you guys can see uh, it, uh, it is just 995 dollars and you can uh, get it it has 20 GB of DR RAM. Uh, it can go up to 4.1 gigahertz. The base of, of the processor, the base uh, speed is 2.1. It can reach sometime uh, 3.7. So it is a really good processor. Um, it has Windows 10 Pro built in. Uh, so you uh, do not need to worry it has the best windows yet um, it has but it still uh, has uh, it has uh, one tb of ssd as you guys can see it has one uh, one tb of ssd that is really good it also has uh, an I uh, it also has an I puzzle uh, 500 GB of external hardware, so you will get it bundled with it. It has 4 MP catch uh, and a 720p webcam. These are usually the webcam in all the laptops. It is a 4 in 1 card reader. Uh, with 2 by 2802.11 AC Wi Fi, so you would have a Wi Fi a good Wi Fi connection. Uh, with uh, Bluetooth 4 uh, 5.0, so it is a good Bluetooth. Uh, uh, so you could consider buying it uh, this as it has 20 GB of DDR RAM. So it is really good uh, for uh, graphics editing and uh, video editing. And so it is a good laptop, uh, but it is missing some features like the backlit keyboard, uh, which was in the Lenovo Idea Pad 5. Um, but, uh, but you get a 20 GB of DDR RAM with 1 TB of SSD, which will it, which is really which is really good and this processor uh, beats the core i7 7500u processor so you could really consider buying this and it has a 4.5 uh, 
uh, rating. Uh, so many people have liked this, uh, like this laptop. Uh, it, it is a 64 bit version. It has two USB 3.0 and one USB 2.0, one, H, uh, one H, uh, HDMI and one headphone slash microphone jack. So you call it is uh, 220 nits, uh, not like the 300 nits we saw on the Lenovo Idea Pad, but it does the fine. It but it does the job just fine if you are doing it indoors. Uh, so you uh, you can uh, you can consider buying this that is as it is really good so i do recommend this laptop out of uh, the you know idea pad 5 uh, so you could consider buying it but it is a little expensive than it so uh, it is a good laptop Okay, guys, now we are starting on the high end laptop. So, the first high end laptop is the 2019 Lenovo Legion uh, Y540. Uh, y uh, so, it is a 15.6 FHD display laptop with 1920 by 1080 resolution. It is an IPS anti glare display. Uh, it has IPS technology for wide viewing angle with energy efficient LED backlight. It has an NVIDIA GET4 GTX 16504GB DDR5 dedicated, dedicated graphics. So it has a NVIDIA uh, good graphics. It has 24 G. If it, it has 24 GB uh, of DDR4, uh, 2400 SD uh, SD RAM. So it is a 24 GB of SD RAM uh, for full power multitasking and video editing and much uh, and uh, graphics editing. It has one TB uh, HHD uh, and uh, 512. A GB a PCIe SSD offer it offers enough storage for your files that you if you want to save it has an 802.11 AC 2x2 uh, Wi-Fi with Bluetooth 4.1 for Bluetooth connection it has USB 3.1 Gen uh, Gen 1 mini display port 1.4 it has an HDMI 2.0 uh, and RG45 Ethernet uh, and can stick weight lock slot. Um, uh, another USB 3.1 Gen 2 USB Type C 3.5 millimeters. Into uh, the 3.5 millimeter microphone uh, and headphone combo. Novo Hall. It has Windows 10 Home. It has a white backlit keyboard, uh, which uh, battery is uh, about uh, good enough for you guys. Uh, so it is a really good uh, laptop. It has very good graphics with a large storage. It has a processor speed of 2.6, uh, which uh, it has, uh, it is powered by the 9th gen Intel. Hair. Hexa Core IF79750H processor. It is a 9th gen processor and was released in 2019 where it does the job fine as it has 2.6 gigahertz with 6 core and 12 uh, megabytes of catch and it can reach up to 4.5 gigahertz which is the best among all the laptops we have reviewed yet. Uh, so you could consider buying this. Um, it has a voltage of 230, but it doesn't have an optical drive. So uh, this is a good laptop. It is a you know, good laptop. It also uh, can work for if you want to game, and it is good for graphics and video editing. Uh, so
okay guys the next laptop and the final laptop we will uh, uh we will learn today uh, so the last laptop price was only 1300 uh, 1400 dollars so you could buy uh, the lenovo 2019 uh, legion uh, by 540 for that price if you're considering buying this uh, but this is an even better laptop it is the newest 2021 dell enterprise 5000 series laptop uh, with 15 it has a 15.6 inch fhd display Mm, it has an uh, 1920 by 1080 uh, resolution. It has an anti glare LED backlit uh, border uh, VW display. It has an Intel Iris XE graphic with shared graphics memory. Uh, it has the newest 11 gen Intel Quad Core i7. Powered by, powered by the 11 gen Intel Core i7 1165G7 processor, so it is the latest processor. But it does have uh, four cores, uh, while uh, Lenovo Legion Y540 had its six cores and eight thread, uh, 12 um, megabyte sketch. But uh, the base RAM is 2.8 gigabyte, which is really good. This RAM is the best among all laptops uh, base ram is best as among all laptops but it can reach up to 4.7 gigahertz with max turbo frequency so it is a really high with some laptops uh, which are more expensive than these laptops even reach up to 5 gigahertz so this will run really smoothly with uh, your graphics editing and other work it has a high speed, it has a 32 GB high bandwidth RAM to smoothly run multiple applications and can easily run your graphics editing softwares and your video editing software. It has a 1 TB of solid state drive for AFB storage. It has a 1 TB of SSD, so it is really helpful to store everything and the SSD, which make it really fast it has one micro sd card reader two usb 3.2 gen 1 uh, one uh, headphone slash microphone combo one power jack one hdmi 1.4 one usb uh, 3.2 gen 2 that is a gen 2 which is recently released it has is uh, uh, usb type c uh, integrated uh, 720p HD webcam. Uh, it has a backlit keyboard, so it glows, and it has a fingerprint uh, reader with the latest Wi Fi 6 and AX201. Uh, uh, Wi Fi 6 AX201 2x2 with Bluetooth 5.1. It is not the uh, latest Bluetooth, but uh, it is just below the latest. The latest is 5.2. And it has Windows 10 in S, so this is not the full version of Windows, but you can upgrade it. So it also comes with a gift of a, a, a gift of MP. I'm not uh, so it is really good. Uh, it can run your uh, everything smoothly. Uh, you can uh, do your video editing, graphics editing, and everything uh, really easily. So I uh, do advise buying this if you are going for the high end. And it is just $1,406. So I do advise buying this, uh, but it still has four, four, but it does run really good. So it is a good laptop. You could consider buying it. And, and, and this is the end of the video. So now, Guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Have a good day and bye.